Hey guys, what's up? Merry Christmas. So today we're going to do a little computer video. I got some new computer stuff I want to talk about and talk about these computers behind me here. Boop, 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 boop. So this dirty thing is a, I built this in 2006. It's a uh, Intel Core 2 Duo. Uh, it was pretty high end at the time. Today it's worth about $4, the processor. Maybe I could sell the entire system for maybe 30 or something, but anyway, it's got two gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it's like a 2.2 or something gigahertz processor. And check out this fan. This has been plugged up, so it's been had, it's had power. This was the case fan. It, it won't even turn, and I, I guess it's been just sitting here. It's probably been generating a lot of heat. But this thing has been running on my TV, basically like we watch YouTube and Netflix and stuff on it. And it did fine up until I started trying to watch more, a little bit more higher quality content. And it won't do, you know, like anything past 1080. Definitely 60 frames a second is too old for it. And also it's just kind of been struggling lately anyway. So, yeah. And then this is over here. This is my actual computer that I do all my editing stuff on. This is a uh, Intel i5 E6400 or 20, 2400. This is a 2400. This is um, four core. I got 10 gigs of RAM in it. Got a GTX 1050 video card. Plays Wift on this thing. Get great. And it's got, um, yeah, it's got like five hard drives. This one's just like kind of floating in the case. I never did get it mounted or something. So that was stupid. But anyway. Um, so this PC, as you see, is in pretty clean, so I must have cleaned it out at some point in the past because it would it's definitely not that dirty. Here's the exciting stuff. Ryzen. Merry Christmas, Matt. Building up a new system. I needed a more powerful editing machine. I started using a computer at school that's like, I think an eight core, uh, older, very old, it's an older, eight core um, Xeon processor and I'm blown away by how much more fun and, and easy it is to edit video in Premiere on this more powerful system and I've been suffering in Premiere so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build up this new Ryzen R5 3600 the newest best processor I've ever bought probably the last one I'll probably buy by the way this was 2006 this was 2011 so I went six years, five or six years, and now I've gone about eight years. This was a great PC, but uh, I'm definitely not throwing this one away. But I need one of these cases, and I was thinking that I'm going to go ahead and use this. This is actually a much higher quality case. I'm going to go ahead and use that case to build up this new Ryzen. I got a 512-gigabyte SSD. I didn't even know that there was something called an NVMe. M2 drive until recently. <coughs> it's supposed to be crazy fast. 16 gigs of RAM and a B450 Tomahawk. I'm not a gamer, but occasionally I might play a couple games. But also I just needed this motherboard because you can uh, you can update it without a processor for the Ryzen. So I'm gonna build this thing up, but the first thing I gotta do is clean junk out of these cases. So it looks like these coolers don't use these thing, this thing, but actually screws down in these holes. So I got to take this out. And now the scariest part of the whole process. Well, the scariest part is actually putting the Ryzen 5 sticker on the case. But the scariest part, getting it straight, you know, but I need to get this processor in and this this slot and I got to make sure it fits correctly mm -hmm. so the scariest part of the entire operation 1,333 pins have got to fit into 1,033 holes there's a little triangle here that you match with this triangle right here and you just want to make sure that this just falls into place like that and if it's in yeah, it's good. No problem. Cooler is going to sit on top there. Bolt down like this. Like this, I guess.
There's the CPU fan header, so it's just going to sit right there and bolt down. CPU installed, graphics card installed, memory installed. Basically at this point now I'm just plugging everything up and see if it actually works. Alright guys, check it out. Success. I booted it up. I have the BIOS and I've never seen a BIOS like this before where you can actually use a mouse and click through. Of course I haven't built a computer in seven years. I didn't need to update anything. I didn't need to flash the BIOS. Um, it um, recognized the uh, 3600 and booted right up with it, no problem. And look at all these super fun, <laughs> super fun um, things I can play with later. I don't know what half this stuff does. Now it's time to install my super 100% legitimate Windows 10 disk and get Windows 10 going. Well, Windows installed. Next step is to get it online and start getting it updated. And I wasn't thinking very clearly when I set it up over here in the floor because I don't have any network access over here, so I'll have to pick it all up and move it. Alright guys, let's do a little comparison here of the two systems. So first thing I want to do is just show you the difference in speed and exporting. It's kind of uh, it's kind of mind blowing. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a fairly big head start and go ahead and start. This is a uh, 37 second video clip, and then we'll switch over to the new machine and export it. So we're looking at 50 seconds over there, and finally I get around to hitting export. 10 seconds and okay 37 second video clip exported in about 12 seconds I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this one it's not that big of a deal when you're exporting 37 second clips but imagine when you're exporting you know 20 30 minute clips it's gonna make a huge difference uh, exporting was never a really big deal for me. It was more ease of use. So like scrolling and scrubbing on the timeline, you can see how laggy that is. Like I'm getting a few frames per second. Now check this one out over here. It's not super smooth, but it's getting a lot better frames per second. Now here's an interesting test. I'm going to speed this up so we'll do 300 percent on the Ryzen 5 and over here we'll do 300 percent and let's look at how it plays both files so here's the old system the i5 at 300 percent So it got through about half the clip, a little over half the clip, before it ran out of memory, ran out of processor speed, ran out of something, and couldn't keep, couldn't keep it up. Now let's go over here. 300%. This one's actually got sound. Turned on. So it played through the whole clip without slowing down. Honestly guys, I mean, I'm really stunned by how actually usable the old 7, 2011 built, 2012 built, eight year old, seven year old system is actually holding up. I mean, 2.7K uh, video wasn't even really a thing to, for consumers to have in 2011. Uh, very very rare was probably being used whereas you know and it plays it and I've edited it it just it gets really laggy when you start getting a longer timeline the lag just gets worse and worse um, I think there's gonna be a lot of benefits to having this faster PC uh, so anyway 
See ya, I gotta get this thing. I gotta get all the hard drives moved. I gotta get a lot, I got a lot of work to do. See you later.